Hello everyone, Jacob Morgan here, and today I wanna to talk about how you can motivate your employees as a manager. So you're a manager, you have employees who work for you and with you, how do you motivate them? Now, of course, there are a lot of different things that uh, you can do. I like to just talk about three things in each one of these videos. So these are the three things that I wanna talk about with you today. Uh, number one is show trust and be open. Uh, number two is recognize and reward. And lastly, I wanna talk about sharing the big picture. What does that mean? What does that actually look like? So three things that you can do to motivate your employees. Let's start off with number one, which is showing trust and be open. So it's very hard to motivate your employees if they don't trust you, because if they don't trust you, they're gonna wonder why you're motivating them and what you're doing and are you just trying to manipulate them and it's just not gonna work out well. So if you want trust from them, you have to give trust first. And as a manager, I'm sorry to say, you have to do it first. So what does showing trust actually look like? Now I can tell you some of the things I personally do. For me, the way that I show trust with my team, and I have around eight to 10 people that I work with, uh, number one, I let them be accountable. I don't micromanage, I don't stand over them, I don't stare at everything that they're doing. We have these discussions around what needs to get done, and I let them go do it. And this is really hard to do because sometimes, uh, as a manager, you know the answer to something, you know what should be done, but if you just tell other people what to do all the time, you're gonna set that relationship where your employees are not gonna wanna speak up, right? They're just gonna do the things that you tell them, and that's not the kind of organization that I want, and I don't think that's the kind of an organization that you want. So really what you need to do is to let your employees figure things out. And I know it's hard, it's frustrating, it's annoying to do at the beginning, but eventually it will pay off. So that's one way that you can show trust is you give the accountability to other people. You give them the power. You let them make decisions where they don't always need to involve you and bring you in and check things with you and have a meeting with you and send you an email and get an approval on a document or a PowerPoint. You say, you know what? I trust you, I believe that you will take care of it. The second thing that you can do that ties into that is this idea of being transparent. And transparency really means not hiding things, sharing information. So I had a team on site recently, and a lot of the team members that I work with, they know pretty much everything. I mean, they know how much the business makes, most of them, uh, or if they wanna ever know, they can always ask me. Uh, they, they know pretty much everything that they need to know. I don't hide things from them. I let them know anticipated challenges that I think we're gonna, uh, we're gonna foresee in, in the next coming months or in the next year. I let them know any changes in direction that might happen. I let them know these things because it's in my best interest to do so. I want them to make adjustments. I want them to know what's coming up. I don't want them to be surprised. So I wanna share as much information as I can with them. So as a manager, another great way for you to motivate your people is to give your employees the information. If you as a manager are worried about something, you're freaked out about something, you don't know something, you have to not hide yourself from your employees, but you bring your employees into that kind of circle with you. And I think that's a fantastic way to motivate them because they feel like they're with you on the journey. They're in battle with you. They're not sort of against you. They're not hiding somewhere. They are right with you on the front lines and they know everything that you know to be able to make good decisions and to be able to help make sure that you and the organization and that they as individuals succeed. So that's number one, show trust, be open, and it starts with you. You want them to trust you, you have to start by trusting them. Uh, item number two here is recognizing and rewarding. Man, I can't tell you how many times I hear stories from employees at organizations who they show up wanting to work for these companies and they give these companies their all. They start off, they put their blood, sweat, and tears into everything, they work extra hours, they're kind of like the brand evangelist, the brand champion, and they never get recognized. And so as a manager, really what that means you need to do, you have to recognize your people. It's very easy for us to look at an employee when they do something bad and to reprimand them for, the, uh, for it and to say, you could have done it better, this is what you should do better in the future. Like that, that's very easy. It's very easy for us to find the things that are going wrong and to try to want to fix them. That's just kind of our human nature. It's much harder for us to actually look at the things that our team is doing and to acknowledge the things that they're doing a very good job of and say, you know what? 
That's really great. I appreciate that. And the reason why that's so hard is because we kind of expect it because it's like a, it's, it's an ongoing daily thing. And so you don't want to praise every single thing that every person does all the time, but you do want to reward and recognize, um, individuals when they accomplish something, when they reach a certain milestone, when they go above and beyond for something, uh, because it's important, right? I mean, we're human, we're social creatures. We want to be recognized. We want to be rewarded. We want to be told we're doing a good job. That's just who we are. Now, part of that also means understanding how to recognize and reward your people. There are some employees who would love to be recognized where you as the manager, you're doing your town hall, you're, you're meeting in front of hundreds of people and you say, hey, you know, this person did a fantastic job. Erica did wonderful. Let's all give her a round of applause, right? Some employees love that. And there are other employees who would just as much value where you as a manager, you just go over to your employees and you say, look, uh, I just really want to personally thank you for the amazing work that you did this week. I know you put on a lot of time and effort and I just wanted to personally come and say thank you, right? They don't need an audience. They're, they just want that kind of recognition from you as a peer, as a manager, that you, you see the work that they're doing and the effort that they are putting in. So that's really important. You have to make sure that you do that. Uh, number three on here is share the big picture. The best way that I can explain this is by sharing a personal story. So many years ago, before I got into the space, before I got into the space that I'm in now, I worked at a movie theater. I actually worked at a couple movie theaters, but that's beside the point. And uh, at this movie theater that I worked at, they used to run these contests. And the contest was that if you work behind a concession stand, if you're able to upsell the most amount of customers over a certain week, you get a gift card. So literally, and I remember the exact phrase that I used to use, people would show up to the concession stand and they would order a popcorn and a drink, you know, maybe a medium size. And my job would be to say, for a dollar more, you can upgrade it to a large drink and to a large popcorn and you get unlimited refills. Do you want to upgrade? And the movie theater would keep track of who sold the most large popcorns and large drinks, right? Because we all need a, a, a huge thing of soda and popcorn while we're sedentary staring at a screen. Uh, again, I digress. And so that was the contest. Now, I won a lot of these different contests, but eventually I was kind of like, why am I doing this? Where, where's the money going? What's the extra benefit of me doing this? As an employee, I had no clue into what the big picture was and why I was doing this. Now, there's another organization, exact same situation, the San Diego Zoo. And they too have employees who work behind the concession stand. And those employees also are um, encouraged to upsell their, employee, their customers to get them to buy more stuff from the concession stand. But the difference here is that these employees know why they're doing it. And the mission of the San Diego Zoo is to end extinction or something along those lines. And so what happens is when these employees generate extra revenue for the San Diego Zoo, the employees have insight into where that money goes. Which animals is it helping save? How is it being used? What is, what is being done with the extra funds? And because that ha they have that sense of big picture, because they have that sense of understanding how the work that they're doing is having an impact on something or someone, they're motivated. Now, this is also very important for you, regardless of what industry that you're in, but as a manager, you need to make sure that your employees understand why they're doing what they do. How does their work connect to the outcome? How does it impact customers? How does it impact the community, the world? How does it go from beyond just HR or marketing or sales or customer service and support? How does it translate into something more than that? And when you're able to make that connection, that, that picture, that story in their minds, that is a fantastic motivating factor because they know why they show up to work every day. They know why uh, or what they're doing and how it is impacting something or someone. So again, uh, I know this is a little bit longer video than usual, but I think it's an important topic. So as a manager, three things that you can start doing to motivate your employees today. It's easy. It doesn't take a lot of time and effort on your part. You just have to do it. Uh, step one um, is show trust, be open, uh, start small, right? J just start giving a little bit more accountability to your team, showing that you trust them a little bit more. Number two, recognize and reward. Again, doesn't need to be complicated. A handshake, a pat on the back, uh, or a, a recognition in front of your uh, employees and peers in the company. Whatever you got to do, recognize and reward your people. Number three, 
Share the big picture, help them understand the big picture. Again, this is not complicated stuff and it will have a tremendous impact on your organization and on the business. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like these types of videos and you find them fun and informative, educational, et cetera, then please make sure to subscribe to the channel and also leave a comment. I, leave all the I read all the comments on there. So let me know what you think and if you have other tips that you, uh, that you want to provide as well. All right, I'll see you guys next time.